I want to pursue just a quick one. They're talking about the the migration. The, I think there was the thirty one people that perished in the English Channel between France and the UK yesterday. And they're all talking about how the people smugglers, their criminal activity and this, that and the other, because they're trying to deflect the attention, which is they don't the the people in power don't want uh, migrants, people who are not indigenous to this place coming here. That's the truth of the matter. But they're trying to pin the blame on on people that are smuggling them in illegally. And yes, okay, I guess if these people are trying to make money and they're not doing it for for the to, for the right reason, but we don't know what reasons they're doing it with because no one's actually interviewing them. They're just labeling them as as these bad people. Whereas we don't know. They may be trying to get these people out because they know the place they're in isn't great and they want to find a better place to live. But this is another example of how the system doesn't work, how this division doesn't work. We're stopped seeing, you know, how, what is a migrant? No, we're all human beings and we all have the same birthright to this planet that we found ourselves upon. If you believe in religion, then yes, definitely, because God gave it to man. It's ours, not individuals, not the way we cut it up. It's ours, each one of us. There is no migration. There is no illegal immigrant because we are all human beings and this is the place that we're upon. We shouldn't need passports. We shouldn't need to do all these types of things. People shouldn't have to run away because their life isn't great when we know ways of making life equally great for everyone. If we didn't enslave ourselves with the system and the money that that we, we keep doing and trying to shift the blame and criminalizing human beings that are just trying to look for a better life that we as a human being haven't given for each other because we want to live in our thrones we want to keep our place in society we want to be higher we want to be this great empire <laughs> we want to play game of thrones but in your life the fact that people would risk their lives in a dinghy in the sea that will go through days and days of tracking through land to get to the waters to try and flee their country not sometimes because of poverty sometimes because of war sometimes because of what will happen to them because of their religion or, or whatever reason the fact that that's happening that shows you there's a problem do something about it stop shifting the blame and blaming people who are helping them or the people themselves Realize that we're all human beings and we should be finding a better way. We have the technology, we have the infrastructure, we have the mind. We just don't have the spirit. The spirit to make every country so that everyone would want to live in their own country. They wouldn't need to, to flee. It's disgusting. It's disgusting that these world leaders that put themselves in this position to try and help humanity. And that's what they make the claim every time that they get into office and they don't do it, they don't deliver upon it. All they care about is their own money. All they care about is their own peoples, not humanity, not each one of us. Not solving these problems that are solvable if we get rid of the system or adapt it. Stop putting the blame on we don't have enough money. Money is for what? What is it? It's illusionary. It's pieces of tree. <laughs> take care, take easy, God bless and peace.